Okay, so we're gonna go to training battle. So I'm just gonna make a training battle. And I will pick a sub. Doesn't really matter which sub. I'll pick the U2501. So here is a sub, and I can go over and click on this button, which is fill teams symmetrically. Boop. There we go. And if I wanted to, I could add an additional sub by coming over here, doing fill team symmetrically again, and we would have double. And we could add as many as we wanted, but you know, maybe two is fine. So um, I'll go ahead and remove this guy from the room and we'll be against two submarines. So, well, what do we want to play against the two submarines? Well, we could pick. We could pick. We could do cruiser. We could do destroyer. We'll do a destroyer. Um, how about we pick, because we've got two tier 10s, we'll pick a another tier 10. Where is a daring? Daring would be over. Here. I haven't played Daring in a while, so we don't have a commander on it, but that's fine. And this is how we can set up how to play against a sub. I'm going to drop into a battle real quick, and we can fight the sub, be able to practice and see where those pings are, practice our depth charges. If you wanted to play a battleship, you could do that and practice your ASW pings. If you wanted to play a cruiser, uh, some cruisers have depth charges, some cruisers have ASW planes. But uh, once the timer goes down, these uh, bots, when you fill symmetrically, they're automatically keyed in to move and shoot. So these are live fire bots. We have a hydro in this, and 5,000 damage on our depth charge is pretty significant. So hopefully, we can get in close and take one out. We do have fairly low detection, and I don't know if the bots move until they actually detect something. So this could potentially work for us. If you play in a battleship, the subs should detect you almost immediately which case you will immediately start seeing pings, where you'll see the indicators which will show where the subs are. You can try to attack and find and do whatever. We are lit, so something's close, and they will be on the surface, so we will see them briefly. There we go. Before they're gonna go ahead and dive. The biggest thing we have to be concerned about is... We have to be concerned about double pings. The green ones, because the green ones are the ones that are going to do some real significant threat. Okay. So now we're actually close enough that we have them on hydro. We do have a green ping. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it. I'm gonna pop damage con just because. That gives us the ability to juke. And that'll be the first one, dead by gun, so we have to rush the second. Enemy submarine destroyed. See where he is. So the ping can be up to a kilometer up or a kilometer back. There we go. And we are close here. Depth charge is going to be 800 meter distance. We can take this guy out by depth charges. We are green ping, so this is actually quite a threat for us. Torpedoes to starboard. But we can juke. Torpedoes dead ahead. And this will probably hit. Torpedoes dead ahead. But now we're close enough Torpedoes to starboard. within 0.5 that he's not going to be able to uh Problem solved, sir. not gonna be able to take us out and we have depth charge damage. So this is a way to pop into a training room and um be able to fight subs. We obviously went in a DD, but you could do that in a cruiser, you could do that in a battleship, you could do it in another sub if you wanted to. Uh, they will just be in the surface, they won't dive. It'll be either surface or periscope depth, but it does give you the ability to practice 